This is the last human being on Earth who has lived for 2,000 years. After 708 plastic surgeries, she doesn't look like a human being at all, just a human skin. The reason she's here is to see the final explosion of the Earth before it's destroyed. In half an hour, the sun will explode and the Earth will be destroyed. That's why the richest people in the universe have gathered here to see the Earth for the last time. They are the trees of the forest of Chim, financial family seven's adherents of the repeated name. The face of Bo, sponsor of the event, Cassandra, the last human, and the doctor and his human companion Rose, who had traveled five billion years to get in without a ticket. Once everyone had arrived at the viewing hall, these gifts were exchanged. Trees gave the doctor a potted plant, a branch cut from her grandfather. In return, the doctor gave her fresh air from his lungs, rich in carbon dioxide. Repeated mean gave everyone a metal orb as a gift. Even the station's butler received one. The butler announced the start of the countdown to Earth's destruction. Then Cassandra, who claimed to be the last human, brought out her treasures. They were an ostrich egg and a vintage record player with music playing, and the crowd danced to it. Rose looked at the strange aliens in front of her and felt like she didn't feed in. She couldn't accept that her hometown was going to be destroyed while they watched a live broadcast of their fun. So Rose went to an empty room and quietly watched the sun expand and move closer to Earth. But she didn't notice that the metal orb that repeated meme had sent. Her suddenly opened up and a metal spider crawled out of it. As the spider got closer and closer to Rose, the doctor pushed open the door and walked in. As the last of the Time Lords, he fully understands the pain of losing his home planet. He modified Rose's cell phone so that it could talk to people across time and space. After talking to her mother, Rose was in a much better mood. After all, she was in a time and space billions of years away from the destruction of Earth. Then Rose and the doctor went to the lobby and met Princess Trees, who was looking for the doctor. Rose was alone and had nowhere else to go, so she chatted with Cassandra, who was also a human. This skin is the last human on Earth after five billion years. She has been downgraded from a three-dimensional creature to a two-dimensional one after her 708th facelift. She needs her assistance to pour water on her face to keep it moist after 2,000 years of life. She also insists on claiming she's the only purebred human being and that Rose is an authentic human who traveled back in time from 5 billion years ago. But human-skinned, Cassandra thought Rose's face was a little too prominent and three-dimensional, so she suggested that Rose needed at least 1,000 facelifts. Rose said it's better to die than live like you a bitchy trampoline. The butler felt a vibration. No matter how much his skin the control system, he couldn't find the cause of the vibration. This caught his attention. The ship had been built with the most advanced technology and there was no way this could have happened unless there had been an outside force that had sabotaged it. As Butler attempted to reboot the system, a metal spider jumped out and shed down the sunlight filter. The Butler was then roasted alive by the heat of the sun. Inside the ship, the metal spiders have begun their campaign of destruction. Even the maintenance men is dragged through the air ducts and killed. On the other side, the Doctor and Princess Trees were inspecting the ship. Princess Trees says it's a state-of-the-art ship, completely unmanned and unsinkable. If she doesn't say that, everything will be fine. But as soon as she said it, the Doctor felt a twinge of unease. Because he'd been on a cruise ship that said it would never sink, and that ship hit an iceberg right after it left, killing and maiming all the passengers on board. Then the two of them went to the cooling room. There's a huge fan that's spinning slowly and continuously. To expel the hotter from the ship, the doctor turns on the control system and a metal spider comes out. Before the doctor could figure out what was going on, an alarm sounded. Ten minutes until the end of the planet, soon the temperature will soar. So the doctor rushes out, it passes by the control room and encounters the butler, who's already toasted. The doctor learns that the ship's sunlight filters are shutting down and worries about his human companions. So he rushes to find Rose. Rose is now knocked out and locked in an empty room. The filters on the glass walls of the room she's in are gradually shutting down. Her blonde hair will soon be burned and bald. A minute later, the doctor arrived and used a sonic screwdriver to restart the sunlight filter, but the door lock had melted in the heat. So Rose had to stay in the room, and the doctor came down the hall with the metal spiders. The doctor puts the spiders on the floor and lets them find their masters. The spider crawled towards Cassandra. Then it suddenly turned around and came to repeat a meme. Is repeat a meme the real culprit? The metal spider faces the woman 
who has had 708 plastic surgeries, but it suddenly turns around and comes to repeated meme. Just when everyone thought that the murderer was repeated meme, the doctor ripped off repeated memes are. He said that the meme was just a puppet controlled by mind, and the real killer was someone else. It turns out that the metal spider was looking for Cassandra, but the doctor noticed that after Cassandra frowned and stared, the metal spider went towards repeated meme. Now the repeated meme are out of control and falling to the ground. The spiders then move towards Cassandra. Cassandra realizes that her plot has been foiled and she's not hiding it anymore. It turns out she's going to have her 709th cosmetic surgery next week. And after 2000 years of plastic surgery, she'd run out of money. In order to preserve the beauty of her face, she planned this operation. She originally planned to kidnap people to collect ransom. But now that the plan has failed, she doesn't mind killing everyone. Anyway, she's already bought the shares of the company that everyone is competing with. As long as someone died in the hall, she could make a fortune. Then she turned on the teleportation device and slipped away. That's when the ship's protective force field failed. There are three minutes left before the aftermath of the Earth's explosion will blow everyone to pieces. In order to save the people on board and prevent the death of these rich people from causing a financial crisis in the universe, the doctor rushed to the cooling room to restart the protective force field. But as the temperature rises, the fan spins faster and faster. Princess Trees, in order to save her people, use her wooden hand to pull the switch on the cooling system so that the doctor could pass through safely. But her wooden hand spontaneously combusted from the heat. Fortunately, the shield rises, allowing the protective force field to function again. The Earth disintegrated in a solar storm and exploded. Its shockwaves and debris fly around the ship, but the ship is unharmed. The doctor comes down the hall and reverses Cassandra's teleportation device, pulling her back to the ship. Cassandra's skin is rapidly drying out due to the high temperatures. She kept begging for her life, hoping that the doctor would save it, but the doctor simply said, everything has its time, and everything dies. Then he watched as Cassandra's skin tightened and cracked as it dried up. Cassandra was swept into the garbage by the cleaners. The doctor and Rose made it back to Earth, and their next adventure awaits. Where do you think they'll go next?